Back to the Nutra Medical Report, and none other than the uh, swashbuckling teller of truth, the Gerald Salente, in his website and his newsletter, the Trends Research Institute, trendsresearch.com, his website, trendsresearch.com. Gerald, there's a lot of hot news going on, and all of it is going to have economic chaos written across it. It is like the ancient prophets that came to the king, uh, uh, many, many Tekel Perrys. Your kingdom has been held in balance and found wanting, and you shall die before the morning. That is almost the kind of witness that I have of how close we are to disaster as Israel is edging toward an attack on Iran as the Gulf of Mexico literally boils now with 7-degree temperature rises and the shutting off of the loop current connecting the warm waters to the Gulf of Mexico, the teetering economic situation in Europe and America, and again, instead of having Nero, we have someone playing the harmonica in the White House, Barack and Naughton, I call him the pharaoh in the White House, well, we burn, and the economy teeters on the edge of a cataclysm that is bottomless. Well, you, you summed it up very well. Uh, I, I, I never thought of the Mayan prophecies and the Armageddon Nights as you know, being, being so on target. And uh, the more I'm looking at things shaping up, it may well be that, that 2012 becomes a real breaking point year because that's the way things are adding up. And that's why we're writing the history of the future in the Trends Journal looking back from 2012 so that people can see what's avoidable now that's going on. We just keep going in this, in this course of craziness. And as you mentioned, you know, we have someone in the, in the White House playing their harmonica and the guy before him, he couldn't put one foot in front of the other without stumbling. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he couldn't complete a, a, a sentence. And, when Americans start realizing, and that's what this Trends Journal is, is a lot about, that the people that are running the country, the secretaries of this and that, and the diplomats and the, the department heads and the congressmen and senators, and, and going down the line to the local government, are essentially the same people you couldn't stand in high school and college that wanted to become the class presidents and the head of the student council. The suck-ups, the brown noses, the glad-handers, the insincere, over-ambitious, tattletale, or as we would have called them in the Bronx, rat finks, that only thought of themselves. These are really people that are, are mentally disturbed. And I'm not saying that lightly. Only they could come up with lines when they get caught lying. Oh, I misremembered or I misspoke. They have no, they have no degree of, hum, of, of, of humility. They'll do anything to grovel to get back up to the top. There's no, there's no experience too great that will humble them. So we really have people that are, are, sociopaths that are running not only the United States but much of the world yeah exactly amazing and of course uh, you make some very wise statements here about no individual business institution or nation or empire is too big to fail I like your cartoon in your journal which shows too big to jail with so it's this little tiny jail in this giant bloated corporation but that's what we're dealing with and that's, uh, no, no, you're right. That's what we're dealing with. And, and you know, I hear people saying, oh, this administration, you know, it's communist, it's socialist. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's, it, socialism is egalitarianism. The, wet is, the wealth is spread throughout the country. This is what Mussolini called fascism. Right. The merger of state and corporate powers. Look, you're a doctor. I mean, could you imagine that we are being forced to buy insurance from these criminal insurance groups? Yeah, not only that, what they're doing in the first year or so, the insurance carriers are already, I talked to an EMT firefighter who works in hospital transfers just over the weekend. And the fact is insurance companies are already profit-taking and uh, doing early terminations of people, meaning cutting their life support, cutting their care, sending them home unstable so they, quote, well, they only have a DNR order, do not resuscitate, so let them die at home. 
because their benefits are running out. And if people think that there will be insurance present in 2014 that you could even purchase, uh, Obama's plan has guaranteed that the profit-taking now will mean no insurance carriers will be even around when the only option will be the government option. And believe me, most of the healthcare corporations, a lot of them will have gone under financially, uh, hospitals, doctors, clinics, and they're already feeling the pinch right now. It's getting real deep down to the bone. And it's going to get a lot deeper as it destroy health care. And I belong to the American Association of Physicians and Surgeons. And let me tell you, people have no idea. You don't need to wait to 2014. The health care system, as they say, the corpse already smelleth. It is now decaying as we speak. And you go down the line, you, whether we're losing wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, I, I just heard... Um, uh, I mean, you, you can't make this stuff up. Yeah. Hillary Clinton in, in Pakistan, and, and she was being quoted on Fox TV, saying that uh, they know, she believes that they know where Osama bin Laden is, and she wants them to tell her. And remember what I told you about these are the same people in high school and college you couldn't stand? Yeah. I mean, what kind of moron makes a statement like that? The arrogance. And why shouldn't they be arrogant? Look at the way they're treated. Anywhere she or the other flunkies show up anywhere, they show up in these jumbo jets. You see the photos all the time. They're waving from up in the gangway up there. And by the time they hit the ground, they've rolled out the red carpet, they've struck up the band, and they have a parade. And then they whisk them off in motorcades a half mile long, shut down streets, inconvenience people for what? And I gotta tell you, I don't like paying for this stuff. Just like I don't like paying my money, my hard earned money, to the Goldman Sachs gang, the Merrill Lynch mob, the Bank of America bandits, the city group crooks. When are people going to grow up? This is your money. This is your livelihood. We all work hard. We are not the red carpet crowd like they are. And then you look at this guy, this, this general, ex-general Stanley McChrystal. I call him McChrystal Meth, I used to call him, <laughs> yeah, before right. he got thrown out. Yeah. And, and you, when you look at this doctor, this guy, this was a planned exit, as we see it. Oh, absolutely. That's the best that we could come up with. He, this was his plan that's a failure in Afghanistan. He pumped this thing in public and pushed it through. And they can't even win in Marja, a dusty little town with people fighting in bare feet, bare feet and light ammunition. And this is the American military that defeated the Germans at the Battle of the Bulge? Well, the reason why they can't defeat them. the state through the Japanese heart at Iwo Jima? Yeah. And we can't win in Afghanistan. We can't win in Iraq. The government... They're losers at every level, from BP to Katrina, from Iraq to the war on drugs to the war in Afghanistan. Health care, education, go down the line. The anti-Midas touch. Yes. Absolutely. And, of course, how can you defeat the Afghan rebels when the warlords have made deals that you can't shoot at them while they're moving drugs and selling material for IEDs to blow our soldiers to pieces? How can you win? Because they tie both of their arms behind their back and they can't fire a gun with their teeth. How can you do it? There's no scenario? way they could win anyway. Right. They're in an occupied country. Alexander the Great couldn't pull it off. Right. Uh, the Russians couldn't pull it off, and the, and the English couldn't pull it off. And interestingly enough, we're calling the decline of the American empire, and the United States is sipping from the same final Afghan straw as the Russians did. Yes. They squandered their money on a bloated defense. They got the, the, the Afghan became the, the, the Vietnam for, for the Russians, and it's Vietnam, too, for the Americans. The Americans are losing. They're losing in Iraq. They're losing everything. In, in Afghanistan, they can't win a war. You cannot occupy foreign countries. And we all know what this is about. It's not about our freedom and democracy. If, if the major export in Iraq 
was broccoli, we wouldn't be there. And, and, and it's the same thing going on in Afghanistan as they come out with this phony report. Oh, oh, they have over $3 trillion worth. With one pandemic here, it's only time until...